ladies and gentlemen. Are you ready for the show? Let me hear you. Put your hands together and welcome to the stage the man you came to see. It's Justin Martindale. Oh my gosh, how are you guys? Welcome to the Just Say It Live podcast. I'm Justin Martindale, and this is John Hill. Hi. I would just like to say thank you guys so much for coming. There's, we're on day 412 of the Netflix is a Joke Festival. <laughs> and you could have come to any show, and you came to this, and it means the world. And we're just going to have some fun. I'm going to hold my mic. Okay. I feel like my posture is bad if I'm like that. So I'm going to lean back like this. Okay, we're going to open the show with scoliosis. How's that, everyone? Is, anybody, is this anybody's first time here at the Comedy Store? Yes! Welcome! Welcome. And is anybody celebrating anything? What? That was sad. What are you celebrating? What is it? PhD. PhD. A PhD in serving Bob. Yes, mama. <laughs> What's your, what are you celebrating? Wedding anniversary. Wedding anniversary. Oh How long? Three more years? Oh, 31. I was like, is something planned, sir? I'm counting down as we speak. Wow, 31, that's great. And how many people actually listen to this podcast? Okay. And how many, okay, there was a lot of you that did it. Okay. So this is what's gonna happen. We're gonna have fun. We're gonna like be engaging. We've got some fun surprises. This is a, uh, there's a comedy show festival happening. We might have some unexpected guests pop in. Um, Ali Wong, ladies and gentlemen. Oh my God, that's not her. That's not her. That's Ali Wong. She's a totally different person. Should we explain why we're wearing our, not that we didn't just come from a tennis match. No, 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 no. This is because of the movie, The Challengers, which yeah. just came out. Which John and I did the podcast, and John like went off. Yeah, and uh, it's yeah. if you've seen the movie, it's 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 pretty hot. It's pretty hot. I didn't like tennis until that movie. We're still still wet. I'm still, still a little wet. Still sopping wet. From... Yeah, yeah. So we're just gonna have fun. Uh, we're gonna talk about some pop culture, some stories that have been happening in the news, and uh, it might get wet and <laughs> gay. Gay. So if you have a problem with that. We're gonna lock the doors. <laughs> Tight. Um, but I wanna start because, John, you had a really big thing happen today. Oh, stop, yes, uh, I did. You wanna tell everybody what happened? I mean, listen, I've been on the internet for 30 years. <laughs> I have been trying, I've been writing, practicing my craft. Mm -hmm. And today was the day I went viral for well, mm -hmm. a thread. <laughs> yeah. I went viral on threads. Well, they have prep for that, so. <laughs> yeah. Well, what happened? What did you do? Um, what did you going say? Going viral on threads, by the way, is like wiping your butt with a cheese grater. It does nothing. <laughs> I know. But, could, I mean, dream big. Yeah. PhD. Uh, that's right. Yeah. Um, congrats again, Bob. Uh, <laughs> but the thread was really brilliant. It was uh, a thread that I wrote while uh, at a urinal. Um, <laughs> Wait, what? You get text at a urinal? I'm there for so long. Oh. It's just kind of a constant dribble, as we've talked about before. So yeah. I'm just, what else am I gonna do? I'm not gonna stand there and stare at it. Is that kidney stones? Oh yeah, what is that? Yeah, what is it? It's a prostate problem. What is your PhD in? I'm a paleontologist. Okay, dinosaurs. 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 <laughs> dinosaurs. My we have a, is a fossil. I mean, do I have a demographic or what? <laughs> just a woman digging for bones. That, uh, Laura Just, Dern, everyone. Just, She's here. Yeah. <laughs> Just, Run! Pissing that triceratops. Do you have any... Yeah, what did you say? Nothing. Oh, I was like... I heard triceratops. I was like, what about triceratops? Are there... <laughs> I'm a tyrannosaurus. Are there straight people here? Okay. So a bottom is... Justin. Uh, uh, uh. uh <laughs> So you went viral. Oh, right, I went viral. My, my thread was really brilliant. It was, um, let's see, I see. I think I can say it verbatim. Um, the fuck kind of name is Ruth's Chris for a steakhouse. And when I tell you, I really, um, 
I am now famous, and I really appreciate your management reaching out and giving me $50,000 for this appearance tonight. Yeah, now, you're welcome. My rate went up immediately. But what is the Ruth's Chris? Thank you. I just, it was rhetorical. And Do you know what that is? Bitches. Everyone knows that, right? A Ruth's Chris? It's the steakhouse, well, but who is she? 500 million people fucking needed to go into my comments mm -hmm. and say... Kill yourself? Kill yourself. Yeah. And not only kill yourself, but go you don't have Google where you live. And I'm like, I live in hell with... Like, I, I got mad. And then I'm like, I can't be that person. And But they all wanted to tell me that Chris's house burnt down, so Ruth bought it. And I'm like, that's still a fucked up name. Yeah. That's a stupid, fuck Ruth. That's fuck a dumb Ruth. name. If we've learned anything, fuck My Ruth. The point is, it's a stupid name. I don't care about the backstory. Yeah. Don't be a dumb bitch. Yeah. And if there's a hell where gays go, it's a Ruth's Chris. Yeah. Because there's no gay people there. I, I, like, do you get bread there? Like, what is it? What's B R E? Yeah, yeah. What, what? <laughs> you, I'm sure you can. <laughs> if you bring the right person, if you tip your waiter enough, you could probably get bread there. What? I'm trying to do uh, Celsius flavors. That was good. That was a homonym. A homonym. <laughs> um, all right, well. <laughs> Uh, congratulations. Thank you. You're welcome. Thank you for uh, following me. And thank you for all y'all who came into my yes. comments. So we're going to have some, some really fun games. This first one I want to play. Um, <laughs> clap if you've seen The Challengers. Yes. Okay. Oh, not enough. Well, go, go out. Go see it. See it. It's great. Um, go for your merit. Go, it will reignite. That, you need to reignite it. But yeah, it I know. It. Three years. <laughs> Three, Three years. More. Three more years. Thank, I love how you like, gave me a note. And you should see it too, Dusty Skeletons. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you pterodactyl mama. <laughs> Wait, who's the most cunt dinosaur? Yeah. Yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You know why? They open doors. There's a lot of them in this town. Yes, they have those eyes. Yeah. They're thinking, they're solving problems. Casting couch. Yes, they're serving. Mm -hmm. And they're scratching your fucking eyes out. They got that middle Gay. male. They'll just like gut. Remember that? Remember when he was like, it'll gut you to that one kid? Can we do that anymore? Yes. Where's that kid now? And they all want to hump Chris Pratt. Yeah. Well, here is our first game. The Netflix is a joke festival. We have ultimate tennis teams, okay? So we have several people. <gasps> Who would you want on your team? Here we have Burt Kreischer, we have uh, Monet, just kidding, it's Bob. <laughs> we have Asuka, we have uh, Bill Burr, Ali Wong, Brad, we have Nikki Glaser and Brad Williams. I'm gonna say, let's just go by through one one by one. Okay. Would you put? Would you want Burt Kreischer on your team? I've never seen this person in my life. Really? <laughs> no. He loves a Ruth's Chris. Yeah. It's he's also giving like that weird knee troll at the sex club who's like, just put it on my chest. Oh well, that's that's his thing. He loves to take his shirt off yeah. on stage. But I'm sure he's fine. I don't want him on my team though. He has a bad liver. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> So I don't know if he could do like a whole tennis match because it'd be a lot of like, <gasps> like his liver and my prostate could be doubles. Part yeah, of absolutely. Yeah, shriveled, dead. The worst pickleball team. Yeah. Slow, shriveled, dead, dusty. <laughs> and then, okay, so we have and then we have Bob. Bob all the way. I think Bob would kind of kill it. Have you seen Bob doing Karma's a bitch? Oh, I should have known better. Yeah, <laughs> I have. Sorry. I sleep, I wake up to fucking Jojo Siwa. Yeah. It's the worst. Oh, God. God a bitch. So, yeah. It's the worst. Bob, so, yes, yeah. Bob, I think Bob. And Bob was the best part of Madonna's show. <laughs> he was. <laughs> Bob was great. Madonna was good. There. She was there. She just had. She a, was also on stage. She just had a, her own show in Brazil with 1.6 million people, the only solo act. Right? Wow. Suck it, Taylor Swift. Give it up for Madonna. Yeah. <laughs> she died right after. I know. I what know. a way to go, though. I know. What a way to what? To go? What a way to go. Yeah, I mean, you, you'll dig her up in a few years. Now, <laughs> Osco, I believe, it would be, a, oh, yeah. She would be the silent threat. Like she'd be the she'd be the one who's like I'm really bad at tennis and then like just annihilates yeah. you like a tennis prodigy like I she would just her. let you have it yeah I want her 
And yeah. I also want her like in the back, like um, when you're toweling off and stuff, because I feel like she's good for morale. She's got good spirit. She's a, like, would keep our mood up. And yeah. she, I think that's like, it's like um, modern tennis hair. <laughs> If you keep cutting your hair like that, Bob, yeah. in a few like, years, it's just that like be it's kind of like that bitchy tennis hair. Yes. Like it was just flop around. Bill Burr, sweat wicking. Yeah. Bill Burr, I think would um, he'd quit. Yeah. <laughs> he'd quit the game. He's he's you know he's Irish, Scottish. Yeah. Like, uh, he, he wouldn't bring sunscreen. On, right. He might get us on a foul, like when a, a penalty. He might oh, get he in would, trouble. No, he would be ejected would from the game. Smash the racket. Yes. Lot, yeah, just like, fuck this. I don't need this. Yeah. He would curse. Yeah. And we'd be like, Bill, wait. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Allie, I think, would be um, over it. I don't think, I think she would be over it, but if she's losing, she will kill you. Yeah, she'll <laughs> turn into a velociraptor and shred you. She's got a lot of beef. Beef. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Um, she can be like a, a switch hitter. She can be like if someone, an alternate. Okay. No, I see what you're saying, but I think she'd come, she's dead eye focused. She'd love yeah. to use intimidation tactics. Mm -hmm. Like she'd just look at you and be like, I'm gonna fucking kill you. <laughs> like, she's small, but she packs a punch for sure. Yeah. Uh, Breck Goldstein? I want to make sweet, mad, passionate love to him so he can do whatever he wants. Okay. Yeah. Okay, well, you would be thrown out of the game for sexual misconduct. What a way to go. I know. But, I mean, I think he would be a good... I mean, he looks like a tennis player already, but he played. He was a soccer player on Ted Lasso. Uh -huh. Too much sports. I know. I'm embarrassed. <laughs> That came out, and I was like, oh, how do I include that? Eject. You, you no. eject out Wait. the comedy store. Thanks for coming. <laughs> Nikki Glaser, who just fucking destroyed the rose of... Yes. Star. Yes. Tom Star Brady. player. Favorite yeah. comedian. She's really good. Love I think her. She, she'd be the naughty girl. She, she would, like, use the short skirt to her advantage, I think. You know what I mean? She'd yeah. be like, oh, I dropped my ball. Oh. <laughs> I cannot say enough good things about her. She's also giving like 90s, like Steffi Graf, Martina Navratilova. Yes, and absolutely. I'll beat you, then scissor you, then like raise a trophy and hold the plate. Where do they hold the plates at Wimbledon? Your Wimbledon's different than mine. Oh. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I mean, I, don't, I didn't know you like had, they hold the, I don't know. What do they have a plate? They have a plate. They're like, look, I got a plate. Well, it's like the stamp, the hockey. They have a cup, but then the a plate. They have. Who's is this like Beauty and the Beast? Be our fucking guest. Like, who is making these prizes for sports? Like, here's a plate. Here's a cup. Like, give him money. How about just money? Yeah. Or like a trip, a vacation. Give a vacation. There's a fucking plate. I want you. If imagine winning a plate. Wimbledon and you get a fucking plate. Oh, slice, slice and dice. You're like, great, I can't wait to put this in the center of my table for Thanksgiving. Ugh, give it to your mom. Yeah. And, and then finally, Brad Williams. Don't know her. Oh, Brad Williams. Um, Never seen that person. Really? No. Oh, he's the best. I'm sure, but I just don't know Very, him. very funny. Can't get over the net, though. Um, <laughs> I think Brad would be a triple threat. I think he would be the one, because he scurries. Yes. So... Well, that's true. It's hard to play. We're tall, so it's yeah. hard. I am it takes, so I'm bad like, at tennis. I can't yeah. get there. It's, yeah. That's another thing, just like a general complaint in life. There's like this fetishization of like Tiny House Nation on TV and shit like that. Mm -hmm. It is really hard to be tall. Yeah. Everyone thinks it's like so great. It's hard. Yeah. Like I cannot reach down there. Yeah. Everything is down there. Yeah. He's here now, Brad. Come on. If you get no. <laughs> That's true too. Like they're like those, the learning channel shows where it's like yeah. slutty and small. Yeah, you're like. <laughs> but we always have to be like, oh, but life is so great because it's tough to be tall. Yeah. I want sympathy. Yeah. I went, I went viral today. Give me some sympathy. Yeah. So that was that. <laughs> who do you guys say? Who, who like? Uh, Allie. Bob. Who? Bob. 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 Yeah, Bob. Bob and Allie. Bob. Yeah. And I Nikki. Mean, Bob and Brett. Nikki. Brett. Brett. Okay. Yeah. We hear you. That was a gay. Brad. Um, Brad. <laughs> All right, I have this next story. Um, I just want to get into it because get, it's, get into this, it. it's, it's, it's there's a man in New York City. They call him 
the cheese ball man. This is him. And he draws a massive New York City crowd to watch him eat an entire jumbo jar of cheese balls. And people are saying he is the hero we need. Um, that's hot. Is it? Yeah. People is it a hot cheese? Cheeto? <laughs> a flaming hot. I hate that. That's myself. an attractive. That's a hot look. Well, He's um, coordinated. the article says hundreds of astounded onlookers gathered in Manhattan's Union Square Park on Saturday to watch an anonymous 22-year-old man in an orange mask devour an entire jar of cheese balls. He says, I decided to do this because I thought New York City could use something like this. Oh, did you? <laughs> the anonymous name told the Post, cheese balls are funny. And eating an entire jar of one is a difficult task, but not impossible. It all started with ominous posters popping up around the area in the weeks leading up to the main event. Watch me eat this entire jar of cheese balls, the poster read with a photo of the man in the ski mask holding a giant jar of the snack. For some reason, the oddball attracted curious onlookers and people came together to shout, cheese ball man, oh God, and eat those cheese balls to cheer him on. There was a moment that I was definitely going to throw up, and then people said, keep it down really loudly, so I just kept it in. She has merch. She has merch. Damn. So he says, I is think Is that Lena Dunham? It is Lena Dunham. That's... I... Just recognize a certain silhouette. Yeah. <laughs> Cheeseball Man accomplished his feat after about 30 minutes and then signed autographs for those who came out to support. He said that he hopes to set out on other cheese ball missions next year with a bigger tub, but he wants to be more than just a culinary conqueror. He says, I've been, you know, trying to help people. I clean up the city, pick, it, pick up the trash. Do you? This is a, like a false flag. Yeah. I watch a lot of conspiracy theories. This is what's called a false flag. Oh, it is a distraction from what's happening. You've lived in New York City. He's defending it. He says, and they say, my city doesn't have culture. Now, these are the types of public gatherings we should be having. A lot of people said he's a hero to many New York patrons. We expect statues to be created in his honor. Not the hero we deserved, but the hero we needed. Thank you for doing this on my wedding day, another woman quipped. For your anniversary. Um, Watch me eat this. This is a sexual deviant. And I think we all know it, and we're all dancing around it. And I know we all support like alternate lifestyles and stuff, but I draw I know, the line we can't, here. We can't hate a man for just living his truth. Yes, tar and feather him. <laughs> he needs to be mocked and shunned from society. Well, I hate him. <laughs> I no? love cheese balls, though. You do? Yes. Well, is he here? Do we have him here? Do no, he's not. Okay. Well, he might pop up later. Okay, I don't know. That. You never know who's going to pop in at the Netflix as a joke festival. <laughs> it could very well be Cheese, cheese Ball Man. Man. Um, all He's right. A, a mouth breathing ass bitch. Yeah, I, but it's like, it, it just creeps me out because I, I think of yeah. his apartment. That is someone with, um, what's that thing called? <laughs> apnea. You know what I mean? Apnea. Sleep but apnea. But not even sleep apnea, just like awake apnea. No, it's just, it's a very, it's a mouth, a mouth breather. And it smells like that all the time. Like snoring while you're talking and But it's like, breathing. this is like cheese ball, um... Corn fetish. Or, um, what's the, what's the, uh, like, cheese ball Orville Peck. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Do you guys know who okay, Orville now Peck I like is? <laughs> yeah. Now I've been doing it. There's like a whole bunch of people who are like, who? Who's Orville Peck? <laughs> okay, yes. Yeah. Yes. A musician, he's wearing the mask. Yes, yes you're correct. Gay country singer would have been fine as well, but you're like, he is a musician of a particular genre. Yeah. Guys, let me tell you about something that can be really annoying. Keeping tabs on all your subscriptions. I know it, you know it. Subscriptions are everywhere from your car to your shopping, from your delivery service to your 
dog even. It's so hard to keep track because everything nowadays you have to pay a subscription for. And I get it. And you know who can help you with that? Rocket Money. I logged on to Rocket Money and it got, it guys, I have to tell you, it keeps tabs on all my subscriptions to the ones that I've paid, to ones that are questionable. Uh, they will keep tabs on everything. And it is so manageable. It's so easy. I find it very, very helpful. Sometimes I didn't even know that I was subscribing to the same thing multiple times, and they will take care of that for you, cut it down to one subscription completely, and help save you money, because that's what it's all about, right? Saving your money. Rocket Money is a personal finance app that finds and cancels your unwanted subscriptions, monitors your spending, and helps lower your bills so that you can grow your savings. With Rocket Money, I have full control over my subscriptions and a clear view of my expenses. I can see all of my subscriptions in one place, and if I see something I don't want, Rocket Money will help me cancel it with just a few taps. And I love how the dashboard shows me this month's spending compared to last month's so I can clearly see my spending habits. Oh, and are they habits. Plus, they'll help me create a custom budget and keep my spending on track. Rocket Money has over 5 million users and has helped save over $500 million in unwanted subscriptions. That's up to $740 a year in savings when you use all of the app's features. So stop wasting your money on things you don't use. Cancel your unwanted subscriptions today. Go to rocketmoney.com slash Saiyan, S-A-Y-I-N, rocketmoney.com slash Saiyan. That's rocketmoney.com slash Saiyan. Start saving. You're welcome. All right. Now, speaking of gay, we're going from New York City. The Met Gala was this week. Did everyone care? Yes. You did. I saw it. I saw it. Yep. You were there at the Met yeah. Gala. Oh my God. You saw photos of it? Oh my God. You saw photos of it on TV. Who? <laughs> Perfect. I just love a, a legend. I yeah. Just, I saw nothing. She was like, I was there. I was on my couch. I saw it all. Yes. I have a phone. Did you have a favorite uh, celebrity dressed up? No. Yeah. Okay. Horrible Thank you for doing yeah. Or Cheese ball man. Well, the theme was uh, Night of a Thousand. Who cares? It was like <laughs> it was like Sleeping Beauties, Sleeping Beauties. Re like. Revisited Garden, and then well, then they did. Well, they started with Garden of Time, and then they were like, switch it up. And then Anna, Vin Anna Wintour was like, everyone's going to be confused, right? And that's what happened. And they were confused. They were so confused. I'm I, confused. I honestly forgot, sir. Who did you like in the Met Gala? <laughs> really? Doesn't watch it. Doesn't watch the phone. <laughs> Are you straight? <laughs> oh. Straight. <laughs> I'm scared. Can we have him moved to the back? I know. <laughs> this is a place of love. And <laughs> no, don't go. Right no. What else are we going to look at if you don't sit right there with yeah. your legs spread like that? I know. <laughs> <laughs> You're in the splash zone. <laughs> <laughs> That's another thing, like, about being tall. It's so annoying. Everyone's, like, on the subway and stuff. It's like, oh, you're man spread. Where else are they supposed to go? Yeah. I don't know. Why am I, like, side saddled like a Victorian woman? Oh. I'm like, good gracious, they let me out of the castle. A new day I survived after having smallpox. Yeah. Ah. It's a clinch to so your pad. I know. God. Um, okay, so let's get into some of the Met Gala looks. First of all, this was this was one of my favorites. Tyla. Oh. You guys, this dress, if you didn't know, was completely made out of sand. 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 Sand is so chic. Sand. Sand is having a moment. I've been waiting for sand to have a comeback. Yeah. Yeah. And this is what's kind of sickening about the whole thing. She had people lift her up. Lift her up, which is the new lock her up, but lift her up, picked her up, and then she ripped off the bottom part and like partied. Do you think she's still days later just like finding sand in the crack? Yes. <laughs> she's just, I mean, she's gonna be exfoliating. It everywhere. It's, yeah. Oh, every she has a smooth butt now. Yeah. <laughs> totally smooth butt. I thought she looked amazing. Love it. Oh, so good. Gorgeous. Okay. Who is that? Tyla, who is that? She is a comedian, musician. <laughs> who, she sings that song, Make Me Water. <laughs> yeah. See, you're all learning something. <laughs> Which, by the way, that means squirting. Ew. So if you have kids at home and they're like, Make Me Water, just be like, stop. <laughs> stop it. 
<laughs> it's like when we were kids in Spice Girls, it was like, when to become one. And we were like, <laughs> need some like, We're like 10. <laughs> need some number, but never need. Yeah. <laughs> Was I 10? Probably not. Ah, oh, I know uh, this guy. Who is this? this Jordan is... Roth. Okay. Lead, go for it. I don't know who this is. I uh, thought it was little Edie from Grey Gardens. That's my friend Jordan. <laughs> Jordan Roth is a theater producer, a Broadway theater producer. <laughs> well, <laughs> get a PhD. <laughs> don't let your kids do theater or you'll, you'll end up on here. By the way, if you didn't know, we went to high school together. Yeah. So we were both oh. <laughs> in the theater. We were not on the tennis team. We were not. I don't know. What do you think about this? I, I don't like it. I don't understand. No one understands. I mean, it's on theme. Let's ask a straight guy. What do you think? <laughs> no curves. No curves? Yeah. Oh. He's a real ass man. We have a curve, yeah. a curve shamer in the front I bet row. I you love that sandy dress. It's not a, you. Yeah. You like your men curvy. It's, <laughs> <laughs> That's a guy. Yeah. It's, it's a. It's a. It's we're a doing, well, it's a. We're, I don't know. There's not. We don't know. It's, no it's a. It's a mm -hmm. But this is like. A, it is like a snuggie. A sexy snuggie. Yeah. It's. This is just something. A snuggie. Yeah, I don't like it. Okay. okay. Next up, Nicki Minaj. Uh, Nicki Minaj. I said on uh, the night of the Met Gala, this is what you wear when you buy something from Katy Perry's estate sale. Yeah. <laughs> well, as I'm looking at this, I'm just now realizing, just to bring it back to our San Antonio roots, this is giving cascarones. It's totally Easter. Do you festival. know what cascarones are? No. Oh my God! In San Antonio, when you're growing up, we thought this was literally like a global situation. I thought everyone around. did this. No, just us. Just us. It's they fucking. You boil an egg. Boil an egg. Well, first of all, you poke a hole in the egg. Yeah. You, you drain, drain it. the yolk. Oh, hey. why am I? Ooh. <laughs> and then you, uh, <laughs> you drain the yolk. Poke a hole and you drain it. We're and, talking about the street. And then you, <laughs> then you wash the egg and you pour the water out. And then the you water. Dry oh, I the see. water yeah. out of the yolk. You wash so you the shell so it smell. And then you fill it with confetti. And then you put a little teeny tissue, little cheap piece little of tiny tissue, tissue paper mm. over the hole. Mm. And then you walk up to your friend, you're like, hey, how are you? You look really cute today. And you just bash it over the head. for the rest of the day. And, you, and it was really kind of like, yeah, uh, sanctioned bullying because yeah. a cute girl would come to the school with like her hair all cunt yeah. and like looking good and laid. Yeah. And then like the bullies would be like, oh, yes. hey Tiff, you look so cute. Yeah. And then she'd be screwed. Yeah. It's really and fun. this is why they're banning drag shows and books. Anyway, it looked just like this. Um, I, okay, well, um, yeah, I, 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 I thought this was okay. Yeah. Um, yeah. Thank you. <laughs> She's letting us know. I thought it was. I thought it was a little bit of a. I wanted a little more from this. It's just. It's just. It's like a. Yeah. Like Easter's over. Sure. Um, next up, we have. Oh, yeah. I. I thought this was okay. If you guys watch the bear, which you totally should. Yeah, loved it. Yeah, loved it. Okay. <laughs> They're letting us know. Yeah. I thought this was okay. It's. It's definitely like floral gardeny. That kind of a, a vibe. I'm looking at Dan Levy's butt. It, it's, that's what I'm seeing from behind. Which, by the way, I didn't know that all of his pants are like all beaded. Like wow. that's all individually beaded. This is, uh, you know, I, I see this, and just to be totally honest, I'm like, great, beautiful, beautiful gowns, beautiful you know, gowns, but, like Aretha Franklin to Taylor Swift. But I'm not moved. Yeah, nothing, nothing good. All right, next up. Cynthia Revo in this. Uh, I don't know. This was giving me um, La La Ree from Drag Race. When, you know what I'm talking about? When she came out with all the, like, bags glued to her. And by the way, are, are, we, are, we, are, are we getting tired of the Ariana Grande, Cynthia Revo? Well, get used to it. They're going to be together for the next year. I know. Doing this. I know. They're everywhere Years. together. So, yeah. Who's excited about the Wicked movie? In another dimension. Wow. We are Elphaba and Glenda. <laughs> Who's who? I'm probably Glenda. Okay. You are popular. <laughs> <laughs> you are green. Yeah. Um, just my inside. I thought this was kind of like, eh? I, it looked like somebody put a glue gun and just threw roses on her and said, bitch, go. You know what I mean? 
Yeah, it looks good. It was just I'm 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 kind of exhausted with the whole Ariana Grande and Cynthia being like, oh my god, I can't believe you're here. I'm like, we know. Yeah, I mean, I'm not a big fan of a conquistador bust. Oh, really? <laughs> you you love a conquistador bust? No, I'm not a fan. Well, you'll love. Oh, we have one coming up that you'll really like. All right, next we have, uh, oh, Gigi. This. You you like this one? This was great. I honestly think this is this is we had, we had breaking news today that Dorit and PK broke up from Housewives of Beverly Hills. Shock. This is why, because Gigi Hadid looks like Dorit spook in a Beppo room. Oh my god. In Capri. <laughs> I think that's what happened. This was actually a stunning, stunning dress. I love the lemon. I thought it was great and uh, just. Old Hollywood. Gorgeous, 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 gorgeous. Love the red lip. I don't love yellow. I don't either, yeah. but it looks good on her. I thought it looked great. All right, next up we have a couple more. Ay, ay, ay. Oh, people love this. I, I did too. I'm one of them. Why? Because she looks like a fucking haunted banshee. She just looks like La Llorona under the bed, oh God, right? Llorona? Like everybody else showed up all good and she's like, she showed up. Like a night terror. She looks like she's <laughs> she's <laughs> yeah. she's an advocate for malaria awareness. <laughs> Nobody has time for those mosquitoes. Like I thought it was so and she had like antlers on. I'm like, what? I loved it. I loved it. Yeah. Just giving you Wendigo in the woods. And plus she was points to her for like hitting Kim Kardashian with those antlers. She was like, uh, 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 uh. It reminds me of like when I was a little kid and I would um, break into my mom's closet and try on her pantyhose. Okay. And it would just wind up tangled and all over the place and I couldn't really figure it out. And there's that weird liner and stuff. Um, control top. A control top, a, c a control bottom disaster. Yeah, but I honestly, this is the perfect outfit for when you don't want to talk to anyone. Yeah. Like, people are going to be hesitant to approach you at all, but then if they do, you could be like, mmm. Mmm. I love serving veil. Yeah. I, I like veil. I love it. Yeah. And then, next up we have... Speaking of conquistador. Oh my God, you're right. Bad Bunny. But it's also giving, like, muffin... Who, where is the muffin man? Muffin man, He muffin could man. butter my muffin. Yeah. Here's the thing, I have no idea what Bad Bunny ever says. And it's probably for the best. Does any, I, here's, I'm gonna do a Bad Bunny impression for you real quick. Don't get in trouble. I won't. <laughs> and everyone's like, I have no idea. Five years of Spanish, no clue. I don't recognize him with clothes on. Really? No. I think this looks so good. He was definitely one of the men out of the entire night that I was like, it looks got it. A little like unfinished. You know how when you're in the costume department in the drama department and it's like someone's making sketches on a pattern. Did you sew hang it out there? To sew it later. Oh no. Yes. Yes, exactly. It's giving um, it's giving Capulet. It's I giving, love it. Yeah. I it's love giving it. like thank you mood. Yeah, I love it. I thought he was one of the best dressed of the night for the men, for sure. Uh, next we have... Oh. Mm -hmm. I know. I know. You know, like, toaster strudels? Yes. If you put them in the wrong kind of oven mm -hmm. and they pop up unevenly on the top, in the corners, that's the top. When I saw this, I said, when did Lizzo change her name to Churro? Oh. <laughs> Bringing it back to Challengers. Yeah. But then people commented and they were like, no, she actually looks like a diva cup. Oh, that's true. <laughs> Which I learned, don't Google diva cup. Don't do it. I have one firmly installed. <laughs> I had no idea what a diva cup was. Mm. And... And then I Googled it, and then Beyonce popped into my head. She ain't no diva! And that, that's what I got. And also, I kind of was surprised that she was there. Right. Well, 
I don't know. I don't know about who's sending out the invites, but people don't know this is also sand. What is? <laughs> this garment. I don't know what it is. Quicksand. She looks like it's like a, it's like a pirate Power Ranger villain. I don't know what the hell it is. But um, all right, that's it. Uh, uh, uh. Zendaya nailed it. Um, Zendaya came out as the one of the ambassadors for the Met Gala. She started the damn Met Gala, then gagged us all, changed outfits, and then did gagged it again. Us again. She yeah. gave she gave us two outfits, and as somebody who has met Zendaya multiple times. In fact, the last time I saw her was at the Challengers movie when she popped into my theater and I was like, ah! She is stunning. She stunning, is stunning, stunning, stunning. I thought she was, she was my favorite of the entire night. Do you think in a parallel universe, there's a Zendaya who's like, a from just like a fat slob who does nothing. <laughs> like, just like an just ugly eating cat slob. food, out poor, of a tan. poor and ugly. Like, um, like Goldie Hawn and Death yeah. Becomes Her. No talent, yeah. <laughs> no personality. Just eating frosting with her hand. Yeah, she's cheese ball man in yeah. another universe. Absolutely. She goes through a wormhole and she's a movie star. Hold on, real quick. Is, who else do we have here? Mm. That's, it. That's, That's it. it. Hey, Lan. Where's Lan? He left. He's laid here. What do you need? I need his password. <laughs> oh, can you use your fingerprint? Oh. I don't know. I don't know him. I love that feature on my new laptop because you can just go. I know it's the it. best. It just like froze. I signed up for AI yesterday. <laughs> like, <laughs> what do you mean you signed up for it? I signed up on Google. I mean, I mean on my Gmail. It was like, do you want to pay twenty extra dollars to for AI? Subscribe to AI just called froze. Gemini and Gmail, and I was like, sure, why not? Your identity was stolen. Um, <laughs> They can't that's get not a far. thing. No one else gets those emails. And that's how I wrote my amazing viral thread. Yeah. I said, Gemini, I paid you $19.99 now. Um, the best thing to thread. Okay, we're going to go from the Met Gala to the Mutt Gala. Hey. So this is, a real, this is a real thing. In 2024, we have the Austin Barking Beauty Pageant. <laughs> The way this guy laughed at me for saying I signed up for AI. <laughs> yeah, as he should. Everyone should shame you right now. So here we have the Austin Barking Beauty pageant. They're don't, serving the cunt as well. I mean, they're they're giving you don't fuck it up, bitches. Literally. Um, I feel I don't know. Does anybody take their dogs to pageants? No. I. But there's people that do. They're out there. <laughs> Why am I scared? I did it once. You did it once? I am just now remembering this. Yeah, cut to me with my dog just like doing it. It was in Palm Springs. It was impromptu. They were having a little doggy pageant. And I had my dog, who's now RIP. Um, I got another one. Uh, <laughs> and I ran to Michael's and then like Ralph's. And I put some like birds on his back. Like little, not real birds, like fake birds. And um, he won. What did you win? A plate. A did plate. you win a plate? A plate. <laughs> a can of cheese balls. You win. Just a, a dog hole. Yeah. Perfect. Okay, well, this is, I think... It's I, flattering. They're slimming. Yes. Oh, wow. Well, I had to... That's a star. This that's, is a star. Calorie. When I wake up in the morning, the first person I check on on Instagram is Calorie, yeah. bitch. This is a dog named Callie Cloth. She's in Malaysia. She, yes, she is in Malaysia. She and she is not allowed to perform at the Austin Puppy Show because she will fuck it up. Yeah. <laughs> I mean, look at that. Calorie is never not serving. She's giving you Cardi Bitch. She's giving you Megan the Chihuahua. Ass up. Tits out, ass up. Like she yeah. is the moment. Just, just got bread I mean, at the steakhouse. Look at that. Stunning. Stunting. Talk about curves, am I right? And it's weird too, because if you move that middle piece, she has four more nipples. So, but they're smaller. They're smaller nipples. And she's only three. Mm-hmm. She's only three. Three more years. Three more years. And she's such a bitch. She is a bitch. But I kind of love her for it. Me too. Is that the last image we have? Yes. Yes, it is. All right, we're gonna move on. 
<laughs> what is it? Calorie is the gift that keeps on giving. Go follow her. She Don't makes so much money. It's a real Oh my Instagram. God. Wait. I'm scared. Oh, shit. I knew it. I knew, I knew. We actually have. It is I, the cheese ball man. Yeah. Yeah, we were just talking about you. I heard and yeah. I came. Yeah, thank you for being here. Well, how, uh, what, uh, it's so weird. We were like, oh, he comes to New York only. And I was like, maybe yeah. it's the Netflix is a joke festival. He'll pop in. And here you are. You're the hero we need. Who wants me to eat these cheese balls? <laughs> I can't hear you. Who wants me to eat these cheese balls? It's that easy? You're it's just, that easy. Just... When a hero is called, I appear. <laughs> yeah, put a, put a few of those inside your mouth. That's what I said. <laughs> oh. Oh, wow. Applause. That's great. Can, what did you say? You want more? <laughs> that looks so good. He's right. The city's really changed. <laughs> Do you need water? Take that, vegan! <laughs> are you... Are you... Do you have a... Are, are you a vegan? Uh, I could watch you do this all day. People in New York City do. Yeah. Did somebody say more people? It's the hottest thing I've ever seen in my life. Is it? Yeah, keep going. Don't fucking... <laughs> if you fucking stop, do not. You're gonna make me come. <laughs> Not like this. <laughs> wow. Can somebody say more? I mean, just. <laughs> wow. What an art form. Mukbang. Live mukbang. Live. I mean, that's what I said. You never know who's going to pop in. I definitely thought more would be gone by now. Yeah. <laughs> You're doing great. Yes. This is just an amuse bouche. <laughs> Did somebody say you can do it? Lena Dunham, you look great. Yeah. <laughs> thank you, bitch. Love, love girl. Yeah. Well, thank you, thank you, cheese hey, ball he can man. Say, he can say the rest of the show. Go I for mean, it. I mean, have you? I don't. Know. If he wants to. You continue on with your topics, and I will continue to eat the cheese balls. What do you think? That's totally fine, cheese ball man. All right. <laughs> We're gonna play a game. Cheese ball man, you're more. Oh, still going. Who needs Batman? I... <laughs> the city. This is what the, city needs. the queso crusader. Okay, we're gonna play a game called Madonna. We just spoke about Madonna and Bob. All right. We're gonna play a game called Give It a Ten or Give It a Chop. Is there anybody from Texas here? Yes. Okay. There's a few. So we're gonna give you guys the opportunity to give a ten or a chop some of our best. Texas things, okay? Let's hit it. What do we have? First of all, we have the Selena statue. Oh. In Corpus Christi, Texas. Who's familiar with Selena? This statue, however, gets a chop. Uh, what is this? Why does she look like April O'Neil from Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles? Yeah, Selena was not a butch lesbian. No, no, no. By the way, Selena was my JFK. Yeah. I remember the day it happened. We were at our high school. I was in school and the teacher came in and she's like, Selena's in shock. It's like, can we go home? Like, it was a dark day for yeah. everyone. The world changed. Oh my God, my Celsius. Yeah. Okay, so after Selena, we have Whataburger. Oh, fuck yes. 10, sorry. It's giving color scheme for this dude. It's, yeah, yeah, look, it matches your outfit. <laughs> <laughs> don't you stop that. Do you don't want any water or anything? Nope, my throat is pretty wet. <laughs> <laughs> well, you're on the right show. <laughs> Just saying. <laughs> I'm gonna stand by this. I think In-N-Out sucks. 
Absolutely. There's nothing. People just care. get up and leave. After my dad's funeral, I went straight to Whataburger. Yeah. And when I tell you, I picked out and it made everything okay. I'm yeah. not lying. <laughs> in and out doesn't give you spicy ketchup. It doesn't give you Real? spicy ranch. Or like, and it doesn't give you diarrhea. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. I love it. Okay, next up. Scorpions. Uh, Chop. We've both been stung by one. I've been stung by, I got stung by a scorpion on Easter. Easter yeah. Sunday. I stepped on one in my fucking little baby sister's room one day. Yeah. It, it fucking bit me. They're out there and they look like that. Okay, next we have the river walk. This Which... is a, both. <laughs> <laughs> this is both. The river walk is great. I feel like whenever I, I mean, Look walk... at this photo. It's so nice. I mean, this photo is AI. Don't let this fucking shit no. fool you. This. This looks like fucking Coco from Disney Pixar. Yeah. <laughs> Cascarones. Yes, but people always say like, where are you from? And I say San Antonio and they oh, go, the river Riverwalk. Walk. And I'm like, well. The Riverwalk is a toilet. It, well. It, it is a, to a man-made, well, all toilets are man-made, but it's a man-made toilet. Yeah, it's like their version of Bourbon Street. <laughs> but one of my favorite things ever is every uh, Nyosa, which is night in old San Antonio, which we weren't is like allowed to Fiesta. go to that because my family wasn't slutty. I went every year. <laughs> it's where everyone goes to tongue. Yeah, everyone, everyone just, like when you're a teenager, all they're like, they like all made out with people. And they all like, come back with mono. They, everyone got mono. <laughs> everyone. All of them. Yeah. And my favorite thing is when people would get so drunk, the sidewalks were so small that they would fall into the river. Right in. Never to be seen again. All right. You next. can ride these little boats down it. Yes. But they're like big and flat. What'd you call me? <laughs> <laughs> oh no! Next up, we have John Hill performing. <laughs> Where are you at? You were in Austin. Austin, June twentieth. Austin, June twentieth, seven p.m. at yeah. Creek and Cave. I'm gonna be doing something kind of that you've seen before. <laughs> You're gonna eat cheese balls. <laughs> That's it. Are you okay? No material. I feel like I just, just check in. Eat balls. If the you start hour. choking, like. We can't help you. Don't worry about that. I live for applause. <laughs> Commit to the bit. Lady Gaga, is that you? <laughs> Next up we have... Oh, barbecue. Oh, yeah. Ten all day. Yeah. I've never met a vegan in Texas. What is your favorite item off that... Gun to head, you can only eat one thing for the rest of your life off that plate. The sausage. I love spicy sausage. Bag. <laughs> you sound like my dad. <laughs> now, uh, spicy sausage, I mean, I'm, I'm going, let's uh, break it down. Rudy's. Rudy's. Um, Rudy's Bill Miller. Best. Rudy's is the best barbecue. It is a gas station. Yeah. So, so good. Oh. Tumbleweeds. Oh. <laughs> I feel like that's where this guy lives. No. In the basement, a bunker underneath These are it. just your pubes after using a manscape. Oh my God. That's my pubes after the sand dress. Yeah, yeah, exactly. It rips them all off. I mean, Destiny's Child. Oh. Houston. Oh, chop them. You're gonna chop them? Just to mix it up. Fuck them. Fuck uh, Destiny's uh, uh, Chop. Chop, chop, chop. Fuck no, them. no. <laughs> well, this is the, this is the very first version. Yeah. I've never it. seen these people in my life. Yeah, well, that's Beyonce in the front, <laughs> and then Kelly, and then those two. Hey, okay, Gunnahead, you can only eat one of the things in this photo for the rest of your life. Who is it? Who is it? Latavia and Latanya. Thank you. Latavia. Latavia, Latanya. Kelly. And what are they doing now? Go counting their money. Latavia, though. Oh, okay. <laughs> but Houston, Texas, we just had Cowboy okay, Carter. Okay, Release. She gives a shout out to Houston. So, oh, and oh. Then me. Saturday, June fifteenth, I will be in Austin at the Vulcan. How Gas are we gonna party. cross paths like that and not cross paths? I'll probably say, I'll probably say, I gotta get to the. I have to check out the mothership and all that. The, the okay, science wow, science straight guys hard now. <laughs> yeah. What's the mothership? The mothership. Tell us what is the mothership. Fucking Joe Rogan's Comedy Club. It's called the Mothership. It's called the Comedy Mothership. That yeah. is the gayest name I, I've ever heard. <laughs> the Mothership. And these guys are supposed to be like testosterone oh out. Like, God. let's call it the Mothership. The I'm gonna go check it out, man. I'm gonna no, like hang out with please. Jelly Roll and shit. Yeah, I was just. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Have fun. All right. Our next story. That was fun, wasn't it? A little. Oh yeah. Not to home. People were like, we love that you guys are from the same town. Here's.
here's a, a thing. Who works out here? Cheese wow. Ball. <laughs> I do. Cheese guy. Oh my God, the dust is all on your clothy hole. Yeah. <laughs> Why do I feel that's not the first time you've said that? It's really not. It's really not. <laughs> if you have clothy hole, just stamp it. Clothy hole is a good drag race name. Yes, it is. Agreed. Yeah. So is Bussy Phillips. <laughs> how is? How am I not like? Not I, Bussy Phillips. How has that not been taken? That's a good drag. I made that up. I'm gonna go on drag race. I'm gonna be Bussy Phillips, yeah. and I'm gonna win. Straight guy, do you know what a bussy is? Oh my God! Now let me tell you. <laughs> you see where the cheese balls are going in? Mm -hmm. yeah. Just imagine them coming out now. <laughs> Too much. All right. No one works out here. Perfect. Great. So Equinox is debuting a forty thousand dollar a year membership focused on helping members live longer. <sighs> but how? I read about this. Well, I'm gonna I'm gonna read a little bit for you. Luxury fitness chain Equinox is poised to launch one of the most expensive annual gym memberships in the world with a promise to help members live healthier and longer for a cool 40 grand a year. Dubbed Optimized by Equinox, the program was created in partnership with lab test startup Function Health to craft personalized health plans for its wealthy participants, including personal training, nutrition, sleep coaching, as well as massage therapy. The only people, if all these rich people keep living forever, the only people left when we all die out are gonna be boring as fuck. <laughs> well, just die like the rest of us, right? <laughs> Paleontology. Who's, is, who are they gonna dig up if we don't die? We're, we're taking away work from future paleontologists by living longer. It's bullshit. Preach, preach, <laughs> preach. By the way, if I pay $40,000 a year, that membership better come with like, a Goals. concubine to drain my dick at, <laughs> at 5 p.m. Yeah. and 9 p.m. and 11 yes. a.m. I want I want Cynthia Rivo's flowers yes. in my bathtub. And I want someone to follow me around with that eating. bucket of Just sheet. eating. Yes. Don't make eye contact. Don't talk to me. Just eat. No questions asked. <laughs> yeah. So this fee does not include the roughly $4,000 annual Equinox Gym membership, bringing the total cost to $40,000. So, a lot of people are pissed. I want to do it. You do? Yeah. <laughs> that was so quick. You, know, I you do were it. like, I changed I my hate... mind. I have agency over my decisions. Are so you bipolar? No, what? I just signed up for AI and well, I so... and I consulted it in my brain, and I've decided I want to join. Well, I have guest pass because guess where I work out? Equinox. Equinox. Well, here's the thing. Do you know who goes to Equinox on Sunset Boulevard? Oh, it's gonna be a real selling point for sucks. you. Sean Mendez. He goes to my Erewhon. <gasps> Bitch. I know. <laughs> <laughs> and Britney Spears' ex-boyfriend or ex-husband, Sam Ascari. Oh, hi. Oh, no? All right. Well, I saw him without his teeth. <clears throat> yeah. It's weird. I'm one to talk. I don't have bottom It's feet. like he texts him out and he's like, hi. Oh my God! Yeah, but it looks like he catches fish with his hands. It's a good selling point for Equinox, though. Yes, has a hot body. Well, that's just that's just fun. If you go to Equinox, don't worry about that. Uh, but here's something tragic: the Boy Scouts of America are dropping the word "boy," as girls are now welcomed into the program. That's what could go wrong? <laughs> The, the Boy Scouts of America are moving to a more gender-neutral name, dropping the word boy from its signature program the organization announced this week. The Boy Scouts of America is moving to a more gender-neutral name. Um, the landmark change comes nearly six months after the iconic organization announced the expansion of its program to allow girls to join starting this summer and well over a year after the group began allowing transgender children to register. Now the Boy Scouts of America will reflect that inclusion throughout all of their programs. Starting in February, Boy Scouts, the older youth program meant for kids from 10 to 17 will begin to be known as Scouts BSA. What? That's my scrub profile. Oh. <laughs> BDSA. So programs include boys and girls will pursue the same activities en route to the Eagle Scout honor. Um, I, uh, how do we feel about this? You like it? 
How are we gonna, if we don't have Boy Scouts, how are we gonna train them to be men who will end up going to the mothership in Austin? That's fair. <laughs> Fucking no girls allowed, yeah. no uh, any trans, anything, nothing. Just You're, boys and like, girls, like, binary only. Yeah, I, were you a Boy Scout ever? <laughs> no, I was, I was too gay for that. I was, I was petrified. Like rubbing two sticks together to make a fire, camping with other boys. I, I want to stay home and make bread with my mommy. I'm but also, you were, like, you were like in youth group, so it got oh around. Yeah. It, it caught up to you. I learned how to do all that shit, but on my own terms. Yeah. I had to make a, like a wood soapbox derby. Oh my God, I was kind of jealous of those. Oh, I was like, Dad. Yeah. And he was like in the garage. Like, do you know how to change a tire? Uh, no. <laughs> do you? No. I know. Do you know how to eat a bucket of cheese? <laughs> yes, I do. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> no. You were in Boy Scouts? Wait, you were? Okay. Are you 10? How? No. Yeah. Because girls have been allowed to be in Boy Scouts for at least five years. What was the deal? No, I was just you were born a man. In Canada. In Canada, I was like one of the like, uh, test, test. <gasps> a pilot program. You were in the pilot program for, for the hard <laughs> launch fire. of the Canadian Boy something. Scouts. Wow, and look how you turned out. This is, you know I what? Know. She has a PhD. Advocacy matters. Yes, thank you. This is great. How many, what did? You, what was the best thing you learned in Boy Scouts? How to suck cock. <laughs> Sean. We were like the only three girls. I remember waking up in a tent with three girls. Careful, because this could turn. <laughs> there was only three of us, and we woke up sticky. <laughs> Yellow submarine, naked submarine. <laughs> well, it's nice to know you have no trauma from this. <laughs> Jesus. Would you like a cheese ball? <laughs> That's what they said. Oh, growing up in Texas was one thing, but growing up in Canada sounds I know. terrible. But I mean, that's a that's a fair question to ask. So if you guys didn't hear, chop. she was like, chop. Your, chop on your childhood. Chop your childhood right up. Hashtag childhood chop. <laughs> um, she says that there was three other girls in the Boy Scouts, and they Did she had names? guys wake up around her saying, we all live in a naked, and they were naked. Yeah. Did you have names? <laughs> Should we cancel them? <laughs> and did you still get to sell cookies? Here, let's call them right now. Oh, God. <laughs> No, but we did come up with some patch ideas. Oh yeah, these are cute. For this mesh of like Gen Zers coming into an organization. My uh, favorite are, some of them are, wow, the meditation patch. Yeah. Um, vape recognition. Yeah. Is that a blue Raz ice or just a blue Raz? <laughs> Knowing your rising sign patch. They're, they're very into astrology. Very much so. Um, I like this one, the self-diagnosis of any disorder patch. It's important to know. Yeah, agree. Um, food allergy. Yeah. Um, hopefully they're not allergic to cheese, cheese balls. balls. <laughs> you are seriously... I'm halfway there. Okay. If you don't become bulimic, uh, I feel bad. From just yeah, eating that? You have to get rid of that. One of my other favorite patches is the slaying patch. Slaying and serving. Everything's slaying. We also have the trolling patch, so yeah. kids can start early on those comments. Um, something I think the girls going into the program should learn is the recognizing sociopathic behavior patch. That is an important thing to learn as a child. Yeah. Yep. I wish I had learned that sooner. Some are still learning it to this day. Yeah. Um, doxing. Doxing. It, you, oh, never mind. What? I got that confused with something else. <laughs> what was the word? <laughs> Nothing. Docking. <laughs> what is it? No, 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 no. Docking. Space docking. Docking when oh, you put docking. one penis over another penis and it engulfs <laughs> another penis. Who wants a cheese ball? <laughs> no. Thanks, cheese ball bandit. <laughs> I knew you were a docker the yeah. minute I laid eyes on you. We also have can't evening patch. I can't even. We have the get ready with me patch. Oh. Mm -hmm. We have the giving and mothering patch. 
And the fluidity patch. Oh, the hashtag patch as well, maybe. Ooh, the hashtag patch yeah. is good too. I'm looking forward to the, oh my fucking God. Okay. <laughs> Speaking of straight people. <laughs> we have a problem in this world. And it's my For You page. And it's also... We have the same For You page. Basically. We really do. Let's describe it. Okay. Mine's so, Calorie, the dog who's the slut. Yeah. You saw her. Okay, that's one person. That's the main thing on my page. And then the rest of it is just this. I just have these, like, hot cowboy people yeah. looking into the camera and, like, biting their lips. And I'm like, what? And if I've seen one, now the algorithm's like, this is what you want. And I get it. Like, I grew up with this. Now, but, the guy on the left is Mark Estes, who is who I call Mark Testes. Yeah. And he is That's Kristen, Kristen Cavallari's boyfriend. Yeah. Yes. Oh. Just enjoying some mild um, sword fighting with some friends after a yeah, long Yeah, that's day really at, all it is. At they, the ranch. They have to. They hey, have to. Let's take our Here pants off. Here they are. And, and they love Luke Combs. Yeah. Like all their videos, they just, they're lip syncing to the same Luke Combs song. So. Look at this turd. He has Otsuko's haircut. No, he has alpaca hair. <laughs> That is full. How far would you drive for the girl of your dreams? How far would you drive for three dudes? I would drive all the way up your asshole. All the way right up your asshole. <laughs> is this giving you Boy Scout trauma? I would drive as far as you wanted me to. <laughs> How far would you drive for three dudes? No! All I wanted to do was sell cookies. <laughs> yeah. And then, same song. Could you imagine? Do you think that when they start, when they start to film, do they say, okay, have they agreed that they're gonna start with the ugly one and end with Mark? You always have to start with the ugly one. Because they know they have to have made that agreement. Like we end with Mark because he's the hot one. Yeah. But Otsuko haircut guy can go first. Chad, Brad, and Thad. Yeah. I mean, he's not bad, but no one is as cute as Mark Testy. It's too much. Like, straight ladies, is this hot or not? Okay. Who thinks it's hot? Raise your hand. You think it's hot? You think it's hot? Oh, Met Gala girl thinks yeah. it's hot. She saw the Met Gala. Huh? She saw the Met Gala. She saw the Met Gala, yeah. Do you think it's hot over here? Yeah. Why? Look at yeah. Look at it. They all look the same. Now, hold on. This guy actually is going to be on the fence. This for some one? People. Yeah. This guy? Yeah. Okay. Now let me break it down for this guy. Yeah. This guy is everywhere. His name is Campaign Five, okay? Um, he is, I'm a, this guy I know everything about and I hate myself for it. Cause he will pop up into my shit and then I will send it to John. Cause I'm like- And I, it enrages me. His personality, can we show some of his personality? Can we see, uh, okay. Exactly, here's his personality. Um, as you can see, see he looks, so um, like attractive, but when you start to hear what he's... He giggles saying. at his own stuff. This is a not gay person as well. Right. This person is straight. FYI. Allegedly. Okay. And I'm made entirely of cheese. Listen. It's amazing that time to start. Every time we get okay. this from. We're nothing but our they love a that's, that's, a dead, oh, that's a dummy. It's not a real girl. That's like a body double. Like a, you, know how, you know how when you get a dummy to ride with you in the HOV lane so you don't get a ticket? It's a fake doll. That is not a real girl. He went on Amazon. He yeah. asked his AI subscription, can I buy a, gay, a fake doll to make me not look gay? Yeah. And pose with her on a beach. Do we have, do we have the other video? What's that? Okay. Oh, this yeah, is it. Okay. <clears throat> well, yeah, that's that's a dead woman. That's a dead woman. <laughs> She's been missing for years. So, anyways, he loves God. He'll let you know how much he loves God. He's just like Jesus is, uh, uh, and it's always like a giggle and a smirk. I know where this guy's moving to. He's he. It, every, oh no, he was like, guys, where should I move to? And it like clicks or whatever to land on Tennessee. And he's like, I'm moving to Tennessee. Then I was goofed because I was like, he's moving to Florida. That fucker lied to me. So yeah. now I'm in it. So I don't, I don't understand. 
You know the woman on the airplane who was like, that fucker is not real. Not real? real? That Cam fucker five. Cam not real. five. He's not real. He is a robot. He is a robot. Or a fake. Yeah, he's AI. And I pay $19.99 to subscribe to him. Well, Are you okay it's... over there? I'm worried now. What? Can you OD on balls? <laughs> Another thing that's weird too is that um, it just was released that he does not actually, he did not actually look like that. Oh, right. He, he had, had a glow up. He had some work done. Yeah. Like Britney's ex husband. Which is like really straight to do, bro. <laughs> his mom's his best friend and he loves God. Yes. <laughs> I just want like my jaw filed down, little, little nose. Mm. Mm. I want to alter God's perfect creation just oh, a little Oh, yeah. Bit. Isn't that a sin? Probably. <laughs> Ten. Chop. <laughs> you know what would be a sin to not eat all of these cheese balls. <laughs> He's going to do it. He's going to, yeah. His kidneys That's will fail. That's not safe, bitch. Yeah. Like, on the real. You yeah. Don't, you don't have to. You don't have to do this. This is his destiny. <laughs> Tara, um, don't have we to do it. have, we, we are here for, we have a little more time. Uh, we have John's gonna sing us a song. Oh, okay. I'm gonna John's gonna song. sing us a song from his one person show. It, right. it is on theme with the Cowboys. I do have to put my sunglasses on. Perfect. Because I can't bear to look at you all in the eye when I sing this song. <laughs> you know, I normally do He's this. He's very shy. I normally do this um, with a lot of, oh my. My fucking goat knuckle. My, I'm, I'm serving you both lips. Oh, one of your yeah. cheese curds just fell out. Oh, no. <clears throat> Eat them. Eat them. Chew them up and swallow them. Um, no, this is... Um, am I gonna, I'm just thinking dramatically how I'm going to um, really sell this song. Oh, God. Um, there's cheese dust on my crotch. Um... Uh, all right, I'm gonna sing my song. This basically is the first song I ever wrote. It's a country song because I used to work at Six Flags, oh um, and it. Uh, I worked at the Six Flags that Justin knows. It's in San Antonio. He it's, was in a show. I wasn't. It's called. It was called. Now that's country with the exclamation point. Um, and I dated a sexual predator that summer. Um, he was 25. I was 16. Ah. Oh. Cowboy, take me away. It seemed okay at the time. And um, I recently found this uh, song that I wrote is the first song I ever wrote. And it's just a nice way to kind of remember what life was like back then in high school because it's very innocent. So as I sing it, just try to remember a time in your life, you know, when your heart wasn't um, broken and jaded. Yeah, thank you. Okay, you can go ahead and hit that beautiful track. I wrote this song. If it's the Luke Combs song, I'm leaving. We should have sound checked. Right. Just go on the journey with me. I got church on Sunday, but that's 48 hours from now. Got my fucking boots in my truck, baby. Gonna drive you right outside of town. Might not even make it all the way. Might just have to deal off the highway, find a dirt road, and let you suck this dick. It's been a long week, didn't even get paid. It's so right about now, I'm on a get paid face down. I suck in the back of this Chevrolet. Oh, don't be scared, no, you won't get caught. Just keep your head down, but keep sucking that cock. I wish I may, I wish I might. Keep them pussy flaps slapping on the line. It's a mirror back in my love. In over 30 fucking years, Uncle Sam can't go get fucked. Now let's drink all this beer. What do you say, hey, let's boot tequila? I still have shattered glass in my heel. Yeah, from when I was smoking meth and I dropped the pie. But that's all right. It's been a long week, didn't even get paid. So right about now, I'm on a delay face down. I look in the back of this Chevrolet. Don't be scared, no, you won't get caught. Just keep your head down, but keep sucking that car. I wish I may, I wish I might. Keep them pussy flaps slapping on the line. It's a very, very strong, loving, but fucking body. 
Triple A Cause this shit's out of gas Baby, we could hitchhike to LA Forget about the past Or maybe we could walk to the lake Burn each other at the stake Or sacrifice a goat And drink the blood Kill some kids Then along we get to get back So right now I'm gonna get a place down That's up with the back of this shadow It's a bear that can roll on this fucking chair. So the bear that can roll on the blue fucking truck. Stop it, bear that can roll on your butt, but yeah. church on Sunday, but that's 48 hours from now. John Hill, everyone. Thank you. Thank you for the standing O. Makes you think, huh? <laughs> If somebody out there has $30,000, I'm yeah. trying to make a music video of that song. I mean, now I want that song to go viral with those guys. Right, exactly. I wrote that song to make money, and it's not taking off, as I had hoped. That is a fucking good song. That's the song that they should be singing to. Yes, correct. And that great. to your friends. I released it. Crickets. Okay. Crickets. All right, we have time for one more. Uh, story. You guys having fun? Yes? Perfect. Okay. Are there any Panera eaters? Panera. You love a Panera. Did you hear the awful news this week? Panera has halted sale, uh, the sale, uh, the selling of highly, I mean, <laughs> no, I'm good. Um, the selling of highly caffeinated charged drinks after wrongful death lawsuits. I know, I know. So a company spokesperson declined to comment on a report of Bloomberg News earlier on Tuesday, uh, indicating that the super caffeinated sugary lemonade drinks, which some say have more caffeine in a single <laughs> serving than a Red Bull and Monster combined, were no longer on the menu. Yeah. People um, died. People died. People were they dying. They did have pre-existing heart conditions. It's like died. Stonewall. People died. No one died at Stonewall. <laughs> they did it? They did die at Panera. Uh, um, so, yes, they've stopped selling the energized uh, lemonades. Charged. So these are them, the charged uh, lemonades. Who doesn't want to drink that? I don't. I do. Oh, we actually have a pop-in tonight. We actually have the last customer to Aww. get the, the, the charged uh, lemonades. Go, go, Her name is Lil Lemon, so everyone welcome Lil Lemon to the stage. And she's pissed. She's really angry. Yeah, Lil Lemon, how do you... Yeah. In Jasper, Alabama. Yeah. I've been since 2022. My pussy's never smelled better. Okay. Oh, wow. Little lemon. Yeah. I love you, cheapo man. Oh, wow. He really gets around. Yeah. So, I mean... What are you going to drink now that the charged lemonade's no longer available? Blood. You think I don't have a plug? Uh, a what? A plug. A plug? Yeah, a plug, a plug, you know, oh. a plug. Oh. Well, I mean, actually, Straight everyone up. does. If you look under your seats now, you'll get a complimentary Netflix is a joke butt plug to take home with you. Thank you, Justin. Some might have been slightly used by Bobby Lee. We're going to see you at the Met Gala next year. Yeah. You look great. I think you're going to dream. You're going to soar high. Yeah. And maybe, like, crash. You can catch me in a big lemon. A big lemon costume. Okay. Perfect. Okay. Keep it going for Lil Lemon, everyone. Yes. She, she's mad. Bring back the lemons. Yeah. Bring back the lemons. Bring back. Thank you, Lil Lemon. Oh, 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 she's running. She's running. Okay. Yes. All right. Well, I hope that works out for her. Yeah. Cheese ball, did you have a good time? 
the best night of my life. Oh my God. <laughs> are we wrapping up? We are wrapping oh God, up. We, you didn't finish? Well, no, I mean, we still have time because we have a, this is like the Q and A part of the show. Okay, keep it going, because I need to see every fucking crumb. I know. Leave, you gotta leave this no is, crumbs, mama. What if this is she your, ate. your fetish? You're just like, eat. I'm a feeder. <laughs> I am a feeder. Okay. If you date me, and you I'm a breeder. <laughs> okay, relax. <laughs> We're not at Ruth's Chris. Jesus. Does anybody have a question for us about anything? Oh, the straight guy does. Okay. All right. Well, pick your safe word, John. What? What's your question? Is that song on Spotify? It is. Work. Send it to all your straight friends. Here's who I need to listen to yes. this song. Straight people like you who have like dirty little friends in college and shit. <laughs> Send her out to your work buddies yeah. and say, I saw this song. Yeah. I'm an NYU live. graduate. I'll pass it along. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah. Thanks, Professor Cheese. I want to go on a college tour and really fuck some shit up. Yeah. Where are you from? Toronto. Oh. No. Do you know each other? Do you guys know? <laughs> Have you met the paleontologist? She's like, you were dancing around my tent. What are you doing in Canada? Uh, I, I work at a startup. At a startup. Oh, you're rich. Uh, no, I beg for money. You're going to be. Yeah. Well, I don't know. I, I I hear Toronto might be calling your name, John. Yeah, I'm trying to find anyone who will marry me so I can have their health insurance for a little while. Yeah. Just for a brief. Only so I get my teeth done. Yeah. 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 Have to wait a while. And a liver trans, trans. Okay. So yes, John's song is available on Spotify. Any other questions? Life advice. Thank you for asking. Uh, that. Problems. Please you just want to vent. Share Anything. It. Lock the doors until someone answers. <laughs> He works at a startup, and I work at a finish down all these cheese balls. <laughs> Never gets old. No one. Yes, lady with the hat. Do you have a president of your fan club? Oh. Do I have a president yeah. of my fan club? Her name is Yolanda Saldivar. <laughs> I know. I know. I know. Do you see how, did you hear the outrage? Yeah. I know. Do you know who Yolanda Saldivar is, Canada? She not, she's your fan. She's your president of your fan. Oh, club. yeah. Yeah, Yolanda Saldivar is the woman who shot Selena. Yeah. But but I will say, no, I don't have a president of my fan club. I didn't even know I had a fan Position club. But yeah, I guess. Um, you know, but, Yolanda has, is trying to appeal and say that she needs to be released from prison. Next year. Bullshit. Next year, she's she could be parole. up for parole. And you know who's going to be waiting? Me. Yeah. <laughs> Jeff Galuli, her, her ass. Oh, I've seen some little kids dressed up as Selena with a pinata stick, and I got some ideas. <laughs> TikTok will make you think things. You're like, I could beat her up. You murder someone, you don't get out of jail. I'm sorry. Is that not basic? Unless you're rich or famous. Right, and she's neither. No, 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 no. But yeah. Infamous, maybe, for being a murdering bitch. <laughs> That could be the name of your next single, <laughs> Murdering Bench. Any other questions? Yes, over here. What's your favorite fossil? <gasps> oh! I knew this day would come. Favorite dinosaur? What's your favorite fossil? Because I, I will be honest with you, I'm actually not a dinosaur paleontologist. I, I studied coral reefs. Oh. oh. Get the fuck out of here yeah. now. That's so much, that's kind of like the loser version. <laughs> <laughs> Who is this Canadian charlatan? Like, I'm sorry, what is there to study about The whole coral? time. We just did a whole hour of the show. The whole room was on your side. They're like, yes, bitch, dig up those bones. And now you're like, I study coral reefs like a fucking sloth person. How do you study them if there's none left? What do you, she's like, well, I watch Finding Nemo. I'm an expert. What? Wait. I, I feel that. betrayed. I do too. <clears throat> well, it sounds like you're not doing a good job at it. <laughs> They're dead. They're dead in time. No. Oh, they serve. Oh, I get it. They yes. survived when the dinosaurs died. They were around then too. Yeah. They lived. There oh. were aqu aquatic. <laughs> How long? So aquatic dinosaurs. <laughs> the meteor didn't like boil the ocean. It boiled the ocean. But they survived it. I... You would be a terrible, like, scientist. Did you just see what you did? You were like, so like, did the water boil? I haven't... Like, like, 
chance. But wait, really quickly, like, how did they survive? Like a week. Yeah. They held their breath. It's like it's like it, it's like it, it's like if I was locked in a room with JoJo Siwa, it'd be like the same amount of time. Just like God, kill me already. Yeah. No. My favorite dinosaur probably. I'm gonna go. Uh, it would have to be me. You can say it. No. It would probably be the the megalodon. Ooh, the Meg. The That's the ocean. the ocean. But land, I'm gonna go with a Dilophosaurus. That was my favorite. A Dilophosaurus. A Dilophosaurus <laughs> from Jurassic Park when they had the <laughs> that one, and it spit like this, like yeah, bam. yeah, yeah, yeah. What about you? Uh, I would say, well, we used to go, there was a place in our hometown called the Alamo Rock Shop, and you could go and pick out rocks. I don't know why that was fun for kids, but I was obsessed. Yeah. And you could pick out the rocks and shit, and they would go in, and there was a little pile, and it was dinosaur poop. That was a really fun, um, because I was, I, was I was a shisa, pink fetish queen yeah. little bag of child. Perfect. That's into shit. <laughs> I can always do the velociraptor sound. <laughs> Um, other than that, I mean, I'm a sucker for the, you know, for a T-Rex, because I also have little bitty arms. I wake up in the morning like this and cramped, cramped. Mm -hmm. Yeah. What? I think we learned a lot. Yeah. You, you don't want to know my favorite? Sure. Cheese ball. The Kraft Macaroni Cheesosaurus Rex. Yeah. Wow. <laughs> How do you feel in all honesty? How's your stomach? Not good. <laughs> <laughs> you better barf. I'm gonna stick my finger down your throat and make you barf after this. Well, I mean, it won't be the first time. <laughs> um, any other questions? No? Who's, we, gonna, we, who's gonna win the president in November? Oh. Uh, Roseanne. Oh. Roseanne Barr. Roseanne Barr. <laughs> or RFK, because Ro RFK has a worm in his he brain. He has a worm in his brain, and, and that really changes things up. And he's a fossil. <laughs> yeah, I'm like, I'm like, if he's got a worm in his brain, I'm like, I might have to lean towards that. Yeah, me too. And he also fart. He farted loudly. At well, like a... we already have we have like an X worm <laughs> and a guy with a Fossils. barely a brain. Fossils. Yeah. So I'll do a worm and a brain. I would rather vote for Cheeseball Man. I'm totally voting for Cheeseball Man. Why do you guys think? <laughs> well, that is our show, guys. I hope you guys had fun. Make sure to listen to this podcast on Spotify, wherever you get your wherever you get your podcast. Watch it on YouTube. Make some noise for John Hill, my guest, Jeremiah Watkins, my producers, Land and Leave. The Netflix is a joke festival. Thank you guys so much. We'll see you guys next time. Thanks for coming. Bye. Let's stream my song on Spotify. <laughs> <laughs>